So we have a table of sit-ups and a number of students who could, I guess, accomplish those sit-ups. So five students could accomplish 20 sit-ups. Another three could accomplish 21 sit-ups. Two students could get 25 sit-ups and another two students could get 27. So I guess that kind of makes sense. They're saying that only a few students could do the most amount of sit-ups. And this is in a gym class with 12 students. And we add these up, we get five plus three is eight, two more is 10, and two more after that is 12. So here's our 12 students. What is the mean number of sit-ups completed? Well, the mean, we add up all of our values and divide them by that number of values. So there's 12 values here. So we're gonna add up all this stuff and then divide by 12. Well, we have to be careful because we don't just wanna add up um, these numbers or these numbers here. We wanna realize that five students could do 20 sit-ups. So our first five students total to 100. And then three students can do 21 sit-ups. That means that there were 63 sit-ups done there. Total of 63. Two students can do 25. That's 50 sit-ups right there. And then two students can do 27, which is 54 sit-ups. Now, if we add all these up and divide by 12, we get our answer. Notice part F got cut off here, that says 93. So how do we do this? Well, I'm gonna add the two 50s right here. 50 plus 50 is 100, plus another 100 is 200. Plus, well, I still have to add this four, that's 204, plus 63. Well, 204 plus 63 is 267, divided by 12. And I look at my answers here, and I can go through the long division process, but also I could recognize that 12 times 22, excuse me, 23, is too large. How do I know that? Well, 10 times 12 is 120. Well, and then there's another 10 and 23 we haven't dealt with yet. Times 12 is 120. And that's 240 so far. Well, we're trying to get 267. So let's just look at this for a moment. 267 minus 240 is 27. So, so far we've dealt with, I'm trying to estimate 12 times 23. 12 times 20 is 240. And there are 27 numbers left before I get to 267 or two more 12s. So three more 12s would bring me over 267. That's 36 plus 240. So I know that 12 times 23 is 276, which is bigger than my total here. So that means that F and D and C and B are out. And the only answer that makes sense is 22.25. Now, I just want to bring to your attention that there's a time limit on this test. So instead of going through and figuring out exactly how many times 12 goes into 267, I could quickly reason that, well, it has to be less than 23 because of what I talked about here. Now I might write this out faster and think about it faster if I was doing it on my own, but once I figure that out, I've eliminated all the possible choices except for the right answer without going through the process of long division.